Hey guys, God bless you. I have to talk quiet again because um, everyone's sleeping. But I thought I would use some headphones so maybe you could hear me a little bit better. But um, coming up on a pretty important week in, in my view. Um... No one knows for sure what will happen or if anything will happen, but if you ask me, you know, what I feel in my heart, I tell you that I feel that this coming week is very, very, very high watch. A very high watch for many reasons that I've already told you. You know, if if this is the year, <clears throat> and I believe that it is, I believe the Revelation 12 sign helps to mark it as the year. If this is the year, then what you have to look at are the harvest, the harvest times. You have to ask when is the barley harvested? When is the wheat harvested? When are the grapes thrown into the tribulation? Because all those things have to happen. Some people would say that the barley harvest was the first fruits um, when Jesus was resurrected that could be true but there has to be another first fruits because there's another first fruits described in Revelation chapter 14 and so if that is first fruits of the wheat well that happens at Pentecost that's um that's here in about a week so i'm um i'm very alert and watchful and i'm sensitive to to disappointment we've all been disappointed before there's been other high watches and and it hasn't come to pass on those and it leaves us with a feeling of loss when that happens. But this one feels different to me. This one is is um is not a work of my mind. This one is something in the in the spirit, I feel like. Something in the heart, something deeper. Um, even if it doesn't happen the week of Pentecost, I'm still looking at this time of wheat harvest. I don't think that we have until September. Because that's when the grapes are harvested and the grapes get thrown into the tribulation. So I just want to encourage you to be watchful and to keep your eyes open and to keep your eyes on the Lord. If there's any time that you are going to lose your way, don't let it be now. Keep your heart right with God right now. Remain um, in a constant place of forgiveness. Don't let there be any bitterness in you, any idolatry, any pride. 
There's a special place in God that's made just for you. He's so big, he's so vast, he's infinite. And that vast, infinite heart is a special place that he has prepared just for you. Stay in that place. Remain in him. He'll do the work in you. He'll keep you. But make sure that you allow him, that your attention is on him and not on the world. Don't get distracted. The devil knows his time is short. He wants to sift the wheat. So be extra vigilant. I don't think that the bride will be tested anymore. I've told you that. But we can still lose focus. And I'm just saying that during high watch times like this, you need to just put more focus during those times in the Lord. I hope and pray this is the last watch time. I feel that it is, but I don't know that for sure. So stay encouraged. Stay close to the Lord. Keep Him at the center of your life. Be jealous for Him. He's jealous for you. All right? And um, I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. He has uh, another gift for us. So I'll give you that word tomorrow. But tonight I just wanted to... Uh, I just feel like this quieting in my heart and this watchfulness coming upon me for this coming week. And so I just wanted to, to encourage you to do the same. All right. So God bless you. I love you. I'll talk to you soon.